Alexandra Courtney and welcome to the Visual Arts Classroom. Here during the Summer Bridge program we have been focusing on working on our making different murals and portraits that encompass the theme of activism and what it necessarily means to the artist that is working on said piece. And not only are we doing that, we are also teaching the students different lessons that will help them in their journey to create these pieces such as how to use materials properly, learning lessons about the history in which the art that they're focusing on like such as different movements in the art world. We've looked at several different artists such as Basquiat and, and many different action painters and we also learned about um, the different movements such as the, the New York School, um, the Harlem Renaissance, the pop art movement and many others. Hello my name is Esther Mentor and I am a visual artist at the Performing and Visual Arts School. My artwork is supposed to um, represent education for all so I used um, three feminine figures to represent that and I mainly choose solid colors like black and white to represent that. Education is free in some countries but not free in this country and we have to open our minds to that fact like how our ancestors African Americans had to fight for their education and back then there were segregated schools and they had to fight for that so we need to be grateful and open-minded to that stuff like that. The painting I work on is James Baldwin. He was a civil rights activist and a human rights activist. He was a basically an activist for everything, basically. He thinks he thought that everything should have rights. Human rights, black rights, civil rights. It was like very important during the civil rights movement too. Hello, I am Jordan Webb and I'm a part of the Performing Visual Arts Magnet program and we're doing activist art, I'm in visual arts. I work on four things. I worked on global warming, I painted racism, problems with school shooting, and deforestation. Okay, so this first one is supposed to represent global warming. And so you have Earth here. There's fire, it's supposed to represent the heat, and how global warming is a problem, and how it's affecting the world. Here, in this long picture, it's supposed to represent school shootings, done right here. There's some books in the background. There's a bullet all the way over here, and then right here's a book, and I put Gun Laws 101, talking about how gun laws are a problem and how they might need to be changed for the greater good of America and children in America. Alright, so this picture is supposed to be talking about um, racism, police brutality, and how a white man can get away with one crime, but then a black man can do the exact same crime and get locked up for it, and how that shouldn't be okay anywhere at all. This is supposed to be talking about um, deforestation, and basically deforestation is, if not everybody knows, it's basically how it's destroying habitats for animals and how people, when they cut the trees down, they'll cut like parking lots and all those houses in those areas. But then while they're making homes, animals are losing homes. Here on this log, it said, it, I put a little joke here, it says stop the chop. It's supposed to, <laughs> but it really means that we shouldn't be just destroying trees and that animals shouldn't lose homes for us to get a home. Hi, I'm Maya Simmons and I'm working on a piece of artwork that has a peace sign that symbolizes equality and peace throughout the whole world. So this is just a colorful, vibrant background and I chose this because I feel like it shows different colors and the colors also show how all people are different colors. So I did this painting of Nelson. 
Nelson Mandela as my first piece because of a movie that we watched um, in the Little Theater called Seraphine. Mm -hmm. It was about um, these kids in Africa doing an apartheid, apartheid party, in which um, they were separated based on their color of their skin. And Nelson Mandela was at, in jail at the time for protesting and speaking, speaking up against um, the apartheid. And the children um, decided to do it themselves and protest and kind of riot, but for a worthy cause um, until um, the band was lifted. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Bancroft, and I have made a portrait of Jean Michel Basquiat, who is the highest paid painter in America, who so happened to look like me, and he is an actor. His last painting was sold for $100 million. This painting that we're working on here is set in this restaurant. First of all, the restaurant is segregated. So on one side, it shows where they would pe set people of color, and the other side shows where they would set people that weren't people of color that were white. And yeah, this painting was put in black and white to set put emphasis on the differentiation of the two and how it was set back in those days. And even in the paintings, you can see, obviously, see the differences between the two. And actually, if you pay attention and you look deep enough into the painting, there are certain spots where it says color and where it says white. The colors, like what it says color and white, that came from the Jim Crow laws, which started in the 1800s, which um, represents the separation and how I don't want to say like war but like we, us as people black people struggle to get that equality that I, I think everybody should have and there is a struggle there we've been treated like animals or not that important and this painting really represents that. Thank you for checking out our paintings. We have more paintings in the hallway. Please check it out.